This is the guided meditation, and I have called it the Phoenix meditation. So let me begin by telling you a very brief story as we both work to calm down and relax as we prepare for the meditation itself. First, I want you to find yourself into a nice, comfortable position where you are safe. Please do not operate any device, any machinery, especially a motor vehicle. Find yourself in a bed or in a chair. Whatever it is, please take the time and set aside this time to truly relax and let go of any worries that you might have. I wrote this meditation for my first book titled The Fire of Knowledge. And it's a very interesting story to me because the whole premise of my book is emotional transformation, namely in the mindset of self-happiness when in a romantic relationship. I came across some wonderful and uplifting poems and historical documents. A lot of my ideas came from the mindset of the phoenix, a mythological creature that was capable of becoming reborn. The phoenix could die, but death to a phoenix is not the same thing as death to an organic human being. When we die, it's permanent. For a phoenix, it's merely a cycle. A phoenix may die, but it's a circle where one death leads into a new life. So it's very uplifting and for me, very motivational. I saw the phoenix as a wonderful thing that we can think of so that we can transform, that we can get rid of everything in our lives that used to bother us. At any point, we can decide that we can change. We can be someone different than we have been. We can heal. We can be better people. We can be stronger people. To me, the Phoenix is a wonderful mascot in that endeavor. And this is the meditation that I wrote for my book, The Fire of Knowledge. Your first spiritual death and rebirth now commence. Many years have passed in this life of yours. Weighted you are with dirt, mud, and arrows. Countless impurities and wounds have become embodied in your heart and soul. So much so that they are hard to distinguish from your authentic self. You have become plagued with negativity in thought and action. The instinctual practice of happiness has long been lost. Even so, there is a shred of doubt in the depths of your mind of logic. You realize that happiness once dominated your existence in effortless perpetuity. Without question, your instincts drive you towards spiritual death and rebirth, to be born anew. You construct your funeral pyre with symbols of life happiness and love, images of your true love, your favorite attire, or the book with the most incredible story. When you ignite the pyre, you direct your thoughts to your overarching passion to be incredibly happy in life and to be incredibly happy in your romantic relationship. No matter how difficult times may have become in recent months or years. You have endless memories that you may attach to your rebirth. They will once again be a reality. The flame that ensues will capture the spirit of these most powerful symbols, being embodied in your pure soul, born anew. As you prepare to ignite the pyre, you do not say goodbye to your loved ones. You wish your pride and all of the untruths that you were taught 
a good riddance. With one final deep breath, you reach for and grasp the torch, the fire of knowledge. A fire rages in your palm, preparing to banish away all of the negativity that has accompanied you thus far. You lower to one knee and let your breath out. Place your hand ablaze upon the pyre. The pyre ignites slowly yet surely. It begins with a crackle and a spark. In mere moments, you hear a whoosh as the flame spreads, beginning to consume you. Your eyes remain open, watching negative thoughts rise and disintegrate. The knowledge that used to dominate your actions evaporates in suit. The emotional wounds that once restricted your actions from pure gifts of love burn red hot and slowly turn to ashes. Every memory or preoccupation has been stripped of its fuel, no longer to dissuade you from your ultimate commitment. Friends, family, children, acquaintances, and especially your partner have all received instant forgiveness for your benefit. Your symbols of the most blissful memories, goals, and desires now ignite, burning an everlasting image into your soul, born anew. This image guides you with the precision and reliability of a program. At every step of the way, you are now confronted with choices, whereas in the recent past, the only option was often negativity. Optimistic, vibrant, and full of energy, you rise as ashes pour off of your body. You shake and brush yourself off, unveiling the new you, rather the authentic you, unshackled. You gaze at your reflection and find all of the emotional wounds to have vanished. Your skin is refreshed, free from impurities. The youthful vibrance that once dominated your life has been recaptured and once again flows through your veins. Before stepping away from the cinders and ashes, you do one final thing. You bring your hand to your heart, close your eyes, and voice your ultimate commitment to happiness. In this new commitment, giving and perceiving negativity are no longer options. Uninhibited, you are now free to take your first step towards your new life. Confident that any challenges that may be faced will be conquered with knowledge. Breaking old knowledge, habits, and commitments. Through the fire of knowledge, back into life, to feel young life. From this point forward, you have been reborn. You are remarkably different. I want you to begin to wake back up, becoming fully conscious and aware. And take this with you. Feel this calm, this relaxation, this new hunger and thirst for life. Take this feeling, bag it up. And I want you to put it around your neck on a necklace. And I want you to take this feeling wherever you go. And you can always remember that the fire of knowledge is with you and you can become anchored to that idea the idea that you can always burn away unhappiness and negativity you can always change you can always recenter re-anchor to this feeling i want to take this time to thank you for joining me it has truly been a pleasure. Good luck, and remember, the fire of knowledge burns within you.